Hey, what's up guys? It's Jason with Gaming here. Hope you guys are having a great day. In today's video, we're going all in about how to use Giant Goblin at Town Hall 4. This attack strategy is incredibly fun to use and it's awesome for farming. You can get some seriously amazing loot while using this attack strategy. Honestly, it's not really the best for 3 stars because you are using goblins and just giants. But when it comes to farming, this attack strategy is just so fun to use and I'm really excited to show it to you guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the attack composition that we are using. 11 giants, 17 goblins, and 4 wall breakers. This attack strategy has a lot of benefits, but there is also one downside which I will get into. And as you guys can see, I've had a pretty good amount of success with some really nice loot using this attack strategy. And let's go ahead and get into it, into the first replay. But before we get into that, if you guys are new to the channel, I post Clash of Clans content weekly and if you guys like the video, it'd be awesome if you subscribe. And if you guys, if you're watching and you're already subscribed, thank you. If you could, smash that like button, that would be awesome. So the main goal of this is we are going to go straight for this Mortar Tower. And the one downside about using this attack strategy is if you look at it, there's nothing to deal with the enemy clan castle. So if you do run into enemy clan castle, you really have two options here. And that is to A, either pack your bags and just leave. Or number two, that would be bring your own clan castle troops to actually fight off the enemy clan castle troops. Those are, those are really your two main options here. Honestly, if it's me, I usually just leave. But fortunately enough, I have not run into enemy clan castle troops. So the goal of number one is to get to that mortar tower as soon as possible with your giants. You're gonna use your wall breakers to help break your way in through the walls and get to that mortar tower as soon as possible. As soon as you deal with that mortar tower, you're gonna go ahead and start placing your goblins down around the base behind your behind your giants. So as you can see, my giants are over here. They've cleared out all the defenses on this side of the base. So I put the goblins behind them just so they are not in danger and they can get through at the much, as much of the base as possible without taking damage. And something I did here, as you can see, I had a couple extra wall breakers. What I did is I just opened up this little compartments right here. That's just a little bonus. You really don't have to do that, but honestly, my number one goal in these raids is to be as efficient as possible and just make it as easy for my troops to move across the base as possible. This will just make your raids be so much more smooth and just help it just flow better. A uh, common quote that I like to use is, is Bruce Lee. Be like water, just go through the base, and uh, just go with the flow. You want it to be one smooth motion. Let's go ahead and break down attack number two. Let's get it. Alrighty, guys. So for replay number two, the last replay we will be covering before the live attacks, I'm going to be focusing more on the goblin side of things and really just explaining how they work and just the main benefits of it. So as you can see, I'm going to be breaking in with the wall breaker, creating an entrance to try to get to this mortar tower as soon as possible quick little thing that i did here that you may not catch is this is a wide open and the mortar tower and the air defense are kind of split a little bit but i put the giants a little bit closer to this side so that way they would redirect to the mortar and i put a couple extra on the top cannon just because it was exposed and so as you will see the mortar goes down and i'm starting to put the goblins down so what's going to happen here is that because I put the goblins down, they only target resource buildings. And that includes gold mines, elixir storages, gold storages, as well as the town hall and the clan castle. So something you may or may not know is that the clan castle actually holds a decent amount of loot as well as the clan castle. So if you're ever wondering like, hey, why did I take down like all the elixir storages and and even the town hall, like what's left, and it's probably because you actually left the clan castle open. The clan castle does hold a decent amount of loot along with the town hall. Something that may not be common knowledge, but if you're ever wondering why your goblins are going there, that is why. So overall, even though I am getting a decent amount of three stars with this strategy, it is super fun to use. I wouldn't necessarily recommend to use it in war. This is primarily a farming strategy. And let's go ahead 
and do some live attacks. I'm excited to see what type of bases we run into. Alright guys, we got some troops trained up. Let's go ahead and hit a base and see what we can find. So, alright, that's a Town Hall 5 it looks like. Not going to be able to hit that. More Town Hall 5. Let's see what we can find here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Honestly guys, I'm really just praying that we don't run into Clan Castle troops. That's the only downside, like I said, with this attack strategy. It's really fun to use, but that is a kind of a bad <laughs> downside. That's a Town Hall 3. Alright, this is a big, big raid. Arguably the biggest hit I could possibly ever have at Town Hall 4. So let's go ahead and hit this. So I'm going to attack from the top side. Get into this compartment right here. And it should be GG. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on the Archer Tower. Got my Wall Breakers going in. Boom, boom. Alright, so now my Giants are moving in, which is nice. And I'm getting ready to put my goblins down at any moment. Just checking to see the outside of the base to see if there's any corner huts, which there isn't. Looks like the mortar's about to go down, which it just did. Starting to deploy the goblins, and I'm also deploying wall breakers so that way my giants can get in and actually attack those defensive buildings. So it looks like this, that giant is actually going to go down, which is unfortunate. And these giants are probably going to bang on the wall right here, which is not really what you want to see. But it is what it is. And let's see what happens here. This might be a little close because the giants did end up splitting from the goblins. So let's really hope for the best here. And see what happens. So already, to be, we've already got a ton of loot, which is sick. Like we've already got, I think, over 100k gold already which is awesome to see i really can't complain about that and looks like the giants are starting to move towards the cannon which is good and i don't know if this will be a three star just because so many of the goblins went down and they are we really rely on them for cleanup and it looks like the rest of them are also about to go down but the good news is is honestly guys we're gonna get a ton of loot here even though it's not three stars, the point of this attack strategy isn't always to get three stars. It's really to just farm up your base and get as much loot as possible. So, I really can't complain about this raid. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just speed this one up and we will go ahead and get into the next raid. Alrighty, as you guys can see, I actually got a ton of loot from that raid. 105,000 gold, 27,000 elixir. Really can't complain about that, even though we didn't get the three star I really can't complain about that. Let's go ahead and train up the next set of troops. I'm going to go 11, 4, and then 17. And I'm going to go ahead and gem those so we can go ahead and get into this next raid. Oh my. That is a Town Hall 5, unfortunately, though. Or actually... Alright, let's see what we can find. Hopefully another one. And let's see if we can get... I don't know if we'll, if we'll be able to top off that last raid, honestly, because that was just such good loot. But 12k, it, 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 like every raid looks bad after that. Like, how do you top that? You know? Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling that base. All right, this should be an easy one. Pretty open layout. And I think what I'm gonna do here is actually attack from this bottom side. It does look like they have Clan Castle troops, not what we want to see. I'm actually just going to back out of that one and just get another wall breaker. Let's go ahead and find another base. It's actually good that I didn't deploy too many troops down, so that way we didn't waste a bunch of our army. So let's see what we can find. Alright, this is not a bad base at all. Let's get into this one. I'm going to go attack right here at the Archer Tower. I'm going to go ahead and drop down these giants. And waiting for the mortar to hit. Boom. Gonna go ahead and put my wall breakers down. Waiting for those to break open. Awesome. So the giants are in. This is looking pretty good so far already. Gonna go ahead and put a wall breaker there just to be ready to put some goblins in there. Gonna go ahead and check the outside. Alright, so there is two outside builder huts. Not a problem. We'll deal with those accordingly. And let's see if the giants go down or across. Alright, so they're going across. Time to start putting these goblins in and doing some work. So only two giants left. That's good to I mean, only two cannons left. It'd be bad if there was only two giants left. And this is looking pretty good so far. Getting a ton of loot already. 
gold is almost done. I think the rest of the gold will just be in the town hall and the clan castle. So as you can see, goblins are absolutely cleaning up these collectors. When they don't take damage and when they're with a group, they absolutely destroy buildings. It's so like it's just so cool to see them absolutely wreck bases after they haven't taken any damage. This attack strategy is so fun to use, guys, and I really just can't complain. No complaints at all about this. So this is looking like a three star. And I think what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to end the video here after this video, guys. Like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much for checking out my, my content. It really means a lot. Um, this is actually a part of my Let's Play series where I'm taking... I started at Town Hall 2 and I'm going all the way up. I don't use money on this account, or at least I haven't so far, which is awesome. And the reason I don't is because... I understand that some players don't have the money to put into the game and I respect like fair to like free to play players which is like honestly a perfectly fine way to play the game and it's so easy to succeed even as free to play and yeah so if you guys just enjoyed enjoyed the video enjoyed the content that I have feel free to check it out I have a bunch of Town Hall 4 videos that you should check out and yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one please leave a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed.